We'll discuss now the kashering of ovens. Now, ovens, if they have a self-clean cycle, are very simple to kasher. One just needs to clean it, basically, to make sure there's no obvious comets inside. Then turn on the, the oven to the self-clean cycle, which generates heat in excess of 900 degrees, which is a Liebman Dahmer, which is the full kashering. And then once completed, the, the oven is now face up. The ovens that don't have a self-clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside, we're going to clean it out very meticulously. We're going to, the entire surface, we're going to use something like an easy off or an oven cleaner to make sure that it's completely clean. After that's done, we're going to leave it idle for 24 hours. We're going to turn it on to the highest possible temperature, like the broil temperature that the ovens have, and we're going to run it for a, a number of hours, maybe two, three hours and that will generate heat. Now, some opinions are lenient and allow the oven to be used simply after that procedure is completed. Others do require, in addition to the, what we just mentioned, taking a torch and going over carefully the entire surface. One needs to be careful when one gets to the back to the area of the thermostat, not to destroy the thermostat. It's always a good idea to do this a few days before Yontif, so that in the event that you do destroy or break your oven, the repairmen can come and, and, and fix what the damage that we've done. But uh, some do require that, or um, doing what we mentioned, running it to the highest temperature for a number of hours, and then afterwards putting an insert, they do have oven inserts, so that whatever food you bake or cook inside the oven will not be in the oven directly, rather it will be on the, in the insert. Also, the grates themselves, if we, if we don't have a self-clean cycle, the grates themselves should not have a Pesach products directly on, for example, if you want to take uh, a baked potato and make it on the grate, one should put something down and not have it directly on the grate, because even those that would concede that it is enough to do what we call a Libum Kal, which is a, a lesser degree of temperature, heat, that's only for um, areas that don't come in direct contact with food, but the racks themselves that do, one should not use on Pesach.